Sarah and I am back today I'm going to I decided this is the um, I'm gonna do this one today the, the Altoid tin but looking at these two lids that I just did this one turned out so much brighter this one I feel like it's just kind of modeled and all together like you can see the difference on this one and this one I don't think you can as much I've decided I'm going to antique this one and to do that all I need is some black paint some wet paper towels and I'm gonna brush on the black paint and I'm gonna wipe it right off so that way I can see the definition and things like that in the in the clay we'll see how it goes I need a little bit of water up oh, I have it here and I need a brush and this isn't generally a technique that I like because I like bright and this dulls everything down but in this case I really just want to see the difference so let me let you come in and you can see things and I it may have to do with my choice of um, perfect pearls or the, the pearl X powders because it's just the same anyway here we go I'm gonna literally well liberally now <laughs> just apply this and I'm, I'm doing it on everything and sometimes you can do this just in sections so maybe I'm gonna just do this section first because I am a heavy hand and I just want to make oops see that um, this eyelet's loose so I may have to glue that in all right so now I'm gonna just let that be on there for a sec I'm gonna take a wet paper tell me go up a little bit I'm always too zoomy and I'm just gonna start to gently wipe the surface I don't want to go too far like especially on my butterfly I really want to let that black sit in those nooks and crannies but on the background I can try to get it out a little more I don't really know what the effect is on the clock like on the metal metal pieces the metal metal See that eyelet came out? I'm just going to glue it back in. I think I'm going to like it better. I'm just going to grunge the whole thing out. So you can see the difference already with this flower and that flower. Oops, I put it right in the paint. It's a messy business, isn't it? This creating. Oh, sorry about my blister. It's not a blister anymore, but yesterday was, um, we did some yard work. And this morning I can hear all the birds chirping. And I told you, Kiwi's been very feisty lately. She definitely feels the spring in the air. Or it's instinctual, right? What don't you think? All right, now let's see what that looks like. I like it better. I do. It's just I think I think it's a good technique to use with a steampunk theme too cuz it just makes it all the more grungy. Not that steampunk is grungy, but It's all personal preference, guys, so you just do what you want to do. I like it though. I think it did a, I think it did what I wanted it to do. Then you, I, if you have a Q-tip, I mean, I don't think I, I mean, I could go over the butterfly one more time because um, 
I might have taken it out of a few places that uh, like on this if you leave it a little longer it kind of dries in the in there too so I have one more paper towel my lighting is kinda the way it's track lighting and it points toward me I think that kinda points down at the table but it's hard when I tip it toward me I get shadows Oh, I like that so much better on the butterfly, especially. And then you know what I'll do on the watch. I already did it. Um, is I used um, rub and buff. I used I think the silver, and I just touched things here and there. Let me. I'm gonna turn it toward. I think I like this. I think this is good. I didn't do the sides, but they look pretty good. I think it was mainly the butterfly that I really wanted to get because he just wasn't popping enough for me. So what do I want? My rub and buff. Rub and buff is just another type of a metallic rub. And I have some silver leaf and I'm just going to touch that. Um, you just need a tiny bit on your finger. It'll last forever. I mean, it does get hard. It'll harden on you. And I'm just going to touch the clock. And see how if I touch the numbers, it just brought that to life. And I think I touched the um, leaves because they were, um, like, not copper, but, like, a bronzy color. And I just feel like it, I mean, I could touch the tops of everything. It won't mess up anything. Do you think I should go over the butterfly? Maybe the... I touch the center of those butterflies. All right, I think that's good. I'm just gonna glue. I think I'm gonna use um, glossy accents and just put that... Um, I always need a pin. I haven't been using my glues very much, so they're all kind of... They're not very um, open. I can't even get that in there. There we go. And then I'll just put this eyelet. Well, you get the idea. I'll do it off camera. So that's it. I think I'm going to, I like this one. But see the difference? This, I, I could do the same thing to this one. I'm really tempted to, because you know why? I think I'm gonna. I'll probably end up pulling these out, but there's a lot of, no. I like this one bright. No, but I think I might want to do it. Just to get it in all those nooks and crannies and stuff, but it will change it so much. It won't be as bright as this. I love the butterfly, though. It's just a different look. And I love that I made the watch pop. So this is definitely more steampunky. And then I guess I could if I had another wet baby wipe. Because a lot of the blue, here it is, um, on this one, I lost some of the blue background. I'm just really trying to touch the background. It. I think I like it though. I definitely I'm happy with it. I'm much happier because I I didn't love it If you watch the video, well, I didn't do a video for this one But as I was going the bright colors like it all popped this looks so much better though. All right. Sorry I'm just in my own head talking. All right. That's it I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the other um, 
the Altoid tint and I'm going to do it with hearts but I like this much better alright you guys thanks for watching